good afternoon today we're going to show you how to change the oil on Lexus IS 220D so difficult to get under the car so we had to put it on the ramp it's not that easy as you know that's the gauge and the filler to top up the oil, I have to check the oil. As you see, is a oil pan. That's a plug offside front next to wishbone. As you know, these vehicles are rear wheel drive. Bob, you just undo this little sump plug or oil pan, let the oil goes and you just tight it back. There's a little flap here, as you see, I just remove it. It's a flap, 310 mil bolt, throw it away, other way, one corner. As you see, that's your filter exactly under the crank shaft pulley. Now you see, we just remove it here. And don't forget when you want to tighten this 25 Newton meter plus 5 Newton meters plus or minus written on the casing I don't know if you can see it or not it's quite yeah 25 plus or minus 5 that's a new filter we bought it's good filters from Euro car parts and the oil 0 w 30 filter comes with these little plugs as it shows you must remove this is I don't know maybe it's different countries or different different model normally they show this one screws here so to drain the oil from the filter because it's quite too much oil inside the oil filter housing but it doesn't, doesn't work on this model it's two o-rings here that's the o-ring we are changing with the little screwdriver remove this one you can see a little notch here the screwdriver remove the o-rings maybe you can try it with the finger now that's it just come off fit the new one in just working with one hand because I must hold the camera mm -hmm. that's it the new filter here. screw this one back where it should be this one definitely these o-rings belong to this but different model here yeah, I put the o-ring back I don't know which model is that so that's not required so this is what you do Jump on if you want a little bit oil on the around the o-ring so it goes in smoothly here we go so we go back up the knees there Look here I just tied it
just make sure just make sure when you get to the end don't force it we use one of these uh, water pump pliers as you see it's a little bit nipped you can push this one all the way turn it all the way by hand when you get to the end then it sit in the place you just nip it with the water pump plier this water pump I do. see even I can do it by hand as you see look but you can turn it by hand I'm just showing you how to do it because one hand I'm holding the camera It. you don't need to force it because the o-ring is gonna expand when it get hot and it doesn't let the cap open that's how you change the oil you drain it from that good afternoon again it's part two lexus is 220d we show you how to change the oil few the details we forgot we use one of these engine flush warm up the engine pour one of these engine flush inside the engine run it for another 15 minutes so you clean all the stuff inside the engine so all the details you can see on the can so we pour the oil inside the engine now it's approximately six liter on this model but that's 2.2 liter engine but make sure just at, at later you just pour 4.5 liter 5 liter and then check the dip stick again and if you require it just top it more so this is two levels and you pour the oil in the engine run the engine for a few minutes and then check the level again here we go in this case we add six liters in this engine but all of us pour five liters and dip it again and check it so don't forget that's it when you run the engine for five ten minutes just make sure there's no leak from the oil pan plug some plug and then filter housing if you got a leak you're gonna have it around here it's a little drip in this area in here this area here so everything is fine so what we do are later on we go going to the flat back and that's it at least every few weeks as a owner of these cars you must just check the oil level don't forget Thanks for watching guys. Thank you. Bye-bye.